Hey everybody, I want to do something a little bit different. Um, so this is an actual makeup collection video. This is more how I store my makeup and hopefully give you some ideas or you can give me some ideas, some feedback. Um, yeah, so hopefully you'll find this interesting. I'll get straight to it. Basically I used to use the A4 stationery trays, like the paper trays, the black, you get black ones, you can get white ones with a clear perspex tray that you would pull out. So it was only a, quite a shallow drawer. What I, I mean, they, I still actually use them uh, for products as well. But what I did find is over time that when I tried to pull the tray out, the tray would get stuck, it was quite noisy. The front of the tray would get scratched from the products even though I had the, the liner in the actual tray. I actually found over it was a little bit cumbersome sometimes to actually get everything out or clean everything. So I was looking for basically some trays or some drawers that I could clean easily, that I didn't see everything all at once, um, which is basically versatile. I, then I saw these little drawers at Howard's Storage Drawer, but they're actually at a lot of other homeware stores as well. This is only the small size. I've got a lot of different sizes. There's large A4 sizes. There's deep trays, um, shallower trays, longer trays that you can actually adjust the length um, as well. This is just the A5 size, I believe. So I use, I've actually got a couple of these and I use them for mascaras, lipsticks, pencils, etc. The best thing though is that they actually stack. So you can get the deep ones, you get a couple of deep ones and stack them up together, all the thinner versions like this. It actually clips in and you can just slide it into place on top of each other. So they're nice and frosted so you don't see everything all at once. And the very, very best part I love is the actual drawers are there, so you just pull it out like that. But, draw sides straight out, and draw sides straight back in again. So it's really easy to get it in and out. You can swap the trays around again. As I said, you can stack them, you can stack them higher, you can stack them low if you don't have a lot of space, shelf space on the top. But they're very, very versatile, a little bit pricey. Um, I find as soon as it becomes homewares as opposed to stationery, the price seems to double, sometimes triple, but I just love the versatility. Just so easy to clean. I mean, that's just for the, the smaller products. As I said, like I keep lip balms in there and lip glosses or look at the thicker ones. I've got lipsticks. Um, and then this is just an example. I can't pull everything out. Is um, of the slightly bigger ones is the A4 but you can even get really deep trays as well where I keep like my larger palettes and my tools in. This is just an example of the A4 sort of size but what I like is I can get little trays in as well and these ones you can see pull out really really easy I can just take the drawer out really quickly pick up any products that I need and these are just clear plastic cutlery trays that I picked up at Target. You can get these at Target. You can also get them at Harrods Storage World and a lot of other homeware stores as well. Very easy to see everything, very easy to clean. Everything doesn't slide around and they've got these little um, joins on the bottom, I suppose, co what they call it? coasters on the bottom. So everything doesn't slide around. You can put it down without it sliding over the table when you go to grab products out. I just keep random um, MAC is a lot of products I haven't actually opened yet. Just my little random drawer. Um, but you can get others, so many different sizes. You can get square sizes of these trays as well. I just keep like face products in there or cleansers sliding around. You can get uh, little square ones. You can stack lip sips in, but they're actually, for, like I said, for cutlery and spices, but I keep my products in it. Um, probably seen this from my um, a tease brush review but this is just basically how I keep my brushes and again you get separate trays as well so easy to take out and get to everything really really easily clean it really easily see everything easily just perfect and it fits too perfectly in there that's a slightly deeper one but again as I said you can get even deeper ones <coughs> excuse me um, oh but of course you can't go past the trays like the plastic open Containers you can get at most two dollar shops, most homeware stores. I just got the frosted ones to go with the drawer sets. I keep body balm stacked up in them, body lotions, large bronzer palettes. Sorry, one second. Uh, Combacks just stacked up in there. Um, other things that I've picked up. 
like if I don't want to keep my, my brushes in there, if I get spare ones or ones I want to maybe show off, I just use toothbrush holders instead of, um, or stationary holders as well, station, what do you call it, pen holders as well, I use black ones. This is just an example of one of the ones I have, toothbrush holder. This is an Esprit one actually that I picked up. You just get a plain one, and maybe a $2 one and paint it, whatever colour you want. Uh, another product um, container that I found I absolutely love is this one here. I think it's a jewellery container. I picked it up from Howard Storage World, but you can get it at Homeware stores. I think, I think, um, holy shit, or I saw them somewhere else where you can get these. I just love it because I keep all my MAC eyeshadows in it. I've got like my torps or my naturals, my browns, my purples, my Renoir is finished in there. Gets everything super easy, easy to clean, easy to see everything. A nice way to show off the product as well. I certainly I'm not bragging, I just like to be able to see what I have. Uh, another thing that I've got is the game, can't go past the classic black plastic tray. Because how I actually stack everything up is on an office desk and I've got a little tray that I pull out with all the products I need to get to super super quick or easy. Little black plastic tray I picked up again at a two dollar shop. Keep all my uh, what do you call it? my powders, concealers, everything in there I need to get to really easily. And on the rest of the tray I've got blushes, um, brow kit, etc. And I need to get two bronzers. This is just a cutlery tray I picked up at Target. Easy to clean, fits in there, easy to take out if you need to go up into maybe some sunlight for some nice natural light. That's good. And one of the last things is just this is actually a stationary little cabinet. It's just fake leather. Um, I just keep things I need to get to easy as well, like you know, cleansing wipes, the mirror. Um, hand creams for creams, sprays, maybe little products I'm reading. This is just a benefit um, catalog, etc. I store everything in a lot of different ways. Um, and this is just one more example of the the really shallow A4 trays you can get. I just keep palettes in here. This is just a Coastal Sands one, but that fits in the game, nice and easy. Let's just keep a little um, draw liner in there, the little rubber backed one so it doesn't slide around. But, not to mention, I don't. I, mean, I still love little cheapy stationary ones. This is just one I picked up, I don't know, we're just a random $2 shop, but it was oh, $5. Um, but yeah, I just keep my lip balms, little bits and pieces I'm trialing, little testers, I just actually keep this in the spare room, just random stuff, but yeah, they still, these drawers stick, they're clunky, we can sort of jams and rolls around and it's noisy and hard to clean, which is why I prefer my frosted ones for my mainstay sort of makeup, but I still love these, they're super cute. And that's basically everything. Um, hopefully you enjoyed, got some tips, maybe some feedback you can give me, and feel free to subscribe. Bye.